more insight into this bizarre case, we're joined in Toronto by Max Berger, an immigration lawyer. Thanks a lot for joining us. What's your, what's your gut feeling of this case? Was this simply someone trying to sneak into Canada, or is there something else at play here? Well, it's hard to know until we get more information, but uh, let's put it into context. Canada sees about 35,000 refugees every year, and most of those travel with false documents because they're not able to get a visa to come to Canada. So refugees traveling with false documents is nothing new. What is new here is this fellow has upped the ante by traveling not only with false documents, but with a false face, so to speak. So whenever there is something new, something out of the ordinary, it tends to arouse public interest. Uh, witness, of course, the 500 Tamils in B.C. last summer. If they hadn't come by boat, if the same number had come by air over a period of several months, no one would have noticed. But um, we may never know what the details of this refugee claim are because these hearings are held in private in camera. This is a, quite an intricate and sophisticated disguise, and, and some say very expensive, six, seven hundred dollars for one of these masks. So, do you think he had help? Uh there's a good chance that he did have uh, help. Uh, keep in mind, this is uh, the first time someone has been caught uh, traveling in this way. It might not be the first time that someone has tried it and been successful at it without detection. Have you ever seen something like this? I've never seen anything like this. There have been cases of stowaways who have hid themselves in the wheel mechanism of airplanes and somehow gotten here safely, but uh, this is something uh, really unique. Max, you know, it's interesting because we reported the fact that he boarded the plane with the disguise on and then mid-flight took it off. Why do you think he did that? Well, if he was coming to Canada to make a refugee claim, I guess he knew that the plane would land in Canada and uh, most refugee claimants who come on a plane with false documents uh, they will turn themselves over uh, upon seeing a Canadian officer at the airport and make their refugee claim. Uh, perhaps this fellow was going to do just that. There is, is some speculation but that by revealing his picture, that may help his case for refugee status. Right. Well, this is a very interesting situation because, as I said, refugee hearings are supposed to be held in private. Certainly a face of a refugee claimant is not supposed to appear on CNN and all over the media. If, in fact, Canada Border Services was responsible for this, it's a very serious breach of protocol. And it may give this fellow a genuine refugee claim because the photo that we see of him, his actual photo with his eyes blacked out, uh, he may still be identifiable from that photo. And the Chinese government might not take too kindly to one of their nationals coming to Canada and making a refugee claim and embarrassing them. So Canada Border Services may have unwittingly given this fellow a valid refugee claim. Interesting, Max Berger. Great to talk to you. Thanks a lot for this. Thank you.